Are you still writing code like this where you do an if check? If you are, stick around and I'll show you how modern versions of C Sharp can help you out with that. In this first example, we check to see if the value is null. We could change this to is not null. I have another video on my channel that'll explain why that's the case. You can also use a null conditional in C Sharp. You just use the question mark sign followed by a dot. If the value on the left is not null, then give the value on the right. Otherwise, propagate that null forward and return null instead. If the value is null, you could decide to return a default instead. This is called a null coalescing operator, which essentially means that if the value on the left is null, we should return the value on the right instead. You can actually combine the null conditional and the null coalescing. If you're worried that person is null, you can go ahead and add the question mark here, and if either person or city are null, it will return the default. If you want to assign that default value into the object, you can write something like this. This is the null coalescing assignment operator. If the value on the left is null, go ahead and assign it the value on the right. 